scheduling would be a lot easier if everyone was always available, wouldn't it? <laughs> that never happens. In reality, I'm pleased at certain moments when they are unavailable. This could be due to planned holidays, sickness, or a variety of other reasons. If an employee is unavailable for a certain period, no shifts can be assigned to them during that time. For example, when Beth has next Friday off for a wedding party, then she should not be assigned to a shift on that Friday. Doing so would break a heart constraint, making this schedule infeasible. Not all employees work full-time for a company. Contractors might only be available during certain days or for a limited number of hours. A feasible schedule needs to take this into account. For example, when Carl is a part-time contractor who only works on Thursday and Friday, then it can only be assigned shifts on those days and not any other days. Doing so would once again break a hard constraint, making the schedule again infeasible. Availability and unavailability are two sides of the same coin. For full-time employees, it often feels more natural to express their unavailability, while for contractors, it makes more sense to specify their availability. Another reason employees might sometimes be unable to work a shift is that, in most cases, being assigned to one shift prevents them from being assigned to another shift during the same time frame. For example, when Anne, a nurse, is working a shift in the emergency wing of the hospital, she cannot simultaneously work in the intensive care unit. Employees can typically only handle one shift at a time, unless if they could clone themselves. But until that becomes a reality, assigning two overlapping shifts to a single person also breaks a heart constraint. Availability isn't always black or white. In some cases, employees would prefer to be assigned to a certain shift, while others might prefer not to be assigned to that same shift. For example, Dan would prefer not to work the late shift on Wednesdays, because that's when he has soccer practice. Ivy, on the other hand, is a bit of a night owl, and she does prefer to work the night shifts. While assigning an employee to an unpreferred shift or not giving an employee their preferred shift doesn't make the schedule infeasible, it does affect work satisfaction and might even affect your employee's performance. These preferences are soft constraints. When optimizing, Timefold will fit in as many of these preferences as possible. In reality, taking into account basic availability alone is already a challenging puzzle for any human planner. Adding preferences to the mix only makes this more difficult to make a feasible schedule by hand. And there are many more constraints to take into account. This is where Timefold can help you out. Not just to automate creation of your schedules, but to make the schedule better in ways that are impossible to attain when planning by hand. Try it out for yourself with our REST APIs.